Miguel Obando y Bravo had been holding weekly masses throughout Nicaragua since he was named Cardinal in May. And wherever he goes, he draws huge crowds. Last week, under a state of emergency, the government banned rallies around churches and churchmen. The order was aimed particularly at the Cardinal because of his frequently expressed criticisms of the government. And it was time to coincide with his visit to Huigalpa. Police prevented hundreds of people from driving to the city, but many went there on foot. The same order applied when the Cardinal traveled a few miles across the country to his hometown, La Libertad, but there it seemed to have even less effect. For many, the local boy has become a national hero, and they throng the streets for a chance to see or even touch him. Again, police in the surrounding countryside tried to prevent people from approaching the city by announcing that the Contras, counter-revolutionaries, were causing trouble nearby. But it seemed to do little to keep down the number who turned out to hear the Cardinal or to dampen their enthusiasm for his message. The same day, the Nicaraguan president, Daniel Ortega, returned home after a trip to New York for the United Nations anniversary. He spoke to reporters, again justifying the need for the state of emergency and stressed Nicaragua's role as a non-aligned nation. He revealed, too, that Nicaragua now has anti-aircraft rockets for use against any aggressor. 